what is the situation shit with your ex-wife? I don't have an ex-wife. When I get married, when I do get married, that's gonna be the first time I get married. That's, that's the first time you're gonna acknowledge <laughs> that you get married. Yeah. You reborn again. You were uh, reborn. born again. Yeah. Erica is single, right? Yeah. I feel like everybody having an obsession with me and Erica. And we're not even together. Like we just hang out and everybody just go crazy. Like I think people like how happy you guys look together. I look good by myself. Diamond. Oh uh, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, how that's, did how did that happen? And why does she keep posting these texts with you or her? I don't know, man. I, I just think <laughs> You didn't make her think another thing. I probably like I said, I probably did. Uh, mistakenly lead her on You know what I'm saying Because I was in a bad place It seems like Diamond thinks that You guys are in a relationship Based on Yeah me and, me and Erica And I'm like Why I can't be with my baby mama And just Take my daughter to school Down to college Why I can't Go get in the jacuzzi With my baby mama There is nobody Telling me what to do There is nobody you single Yeah I'm single There is nobody in the I don't think she I mean, I, mean, but, I mean But you can go look at You can go look at her pictures Like she's all in the Car In another car I don't got no Rolls Royce you feel what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she could be doing that to make, try to make you jealous. But that ain't, I mean, you think you gonna be, I'm gonna be f***ing with you, you in another nigga car? I'm not finna f*** with you. Uh, word with me, here you know BT. No how it go, shout out OCT. No real cap, call out what we see. Whole game ready, ball of bricks on three. No, you can't stand on it on two feet. I already know you can't ball with me. Cause I brought up with the squad of me. They get a letter, they call me. Ball alert. Ball Alert, welcome to the Ball Alert Show podcast, available everywhere you get your podcast. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube page at Ball Alert TV. I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. I go by the name, you know BT. OCT, what up? Lil Scrappy in the building. Hey! hey! What's happening? Looking rather warm, my brother. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's quite cold outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure some folks are going to be upset that you, you're, yeah, you're Peter, wearing Yeah, Peter going to call you. Or animals. But they, but they, they, they what I say. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, that's how we was able to stay warm. You know what I'm saying? We hey, had to man. skin some. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel like... Worse, I, I, feel, I feel... No, no, no. I feel like, shoot. I mean, I had to pick Kai. My people had to pick Kai. Hmm. When other people wore, you know, wore it on their back that we yeah. worked so hard for, our people work hard for. You know what I'm saying? And... It wasn't no uproar about that. It's still it's still cotton fields out there. It ain't no uproar about that. So I just tell people, mind your business. Let me live my life. I don't even rock fur like that all the time, but I'm going to rock it right now because it's cold as fall. All right, mm. we just going to say it's, it's fake. It's not It's not real. No, nah, I don't think he wants you to say that. Yeah, I think I want you to say, like you said, if you in the jungle and you see Scrap fighting a bear, say the damn bear. <laughs> We definitely was talking about that you on feel camera. Me? Man, you know, I've known you for a very long time, Scrapper. Uh, I definitely can see you a friend. But I actually said Hold off on camera. For a second. <laughs> 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 so, I consider you a friend. But I never got to interview you. Right, right, right. right. We've never really sat down and talked. And I was telling Octavia and BT. That you really have history in the culture of music, period. Yeah. Like around it, you you have a stamp and you have a a period where you were the guy. Mm, I, I was, remember that. I was. Yes. Or, or John was the guy. No. Mm. Little Scrappy was oh, the guy. Oh, I appreciate that. I I, I remember. Mm. I remember <laughs> I I remember Definitely. No Problems Definitely. I remember all these records they, those were your records thank you um, so I wanted to take it back there now where exactly is Lil Scrappy from I'm from South Side Atlanta you know what okay. I'm saying Cleveland Avenue uh, I didn't stay in Cleveland Avenue uh, Pryor Road Lakewood Village Carver Home all that you know what now, I'm saying? Now, growing up, what was like? What was it like growing up for you? Like, how how, how was both parents in the household? Or no, nah, I mean, I I had it like how I got it, how my kids got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mom over here, dad over there. Were you the cool guy in school? Athletic? Did you play sports? Like, yeah, they got hot in this I know you hot. Help the bell. Okay, so uh, I I played sports like from 
Little league all the way to like football, basketball, football and basketball all the way to like high school. Then high school came. I did like one year. I tried out. I was like, this is too much. Where well, everybody started getting taller. Yeah, like, I just stayed <laughs> short. You know what I mean? I was like, wow. Hey, that's bro. what happened to me. I was like, this ain't even like a good look for a short nigga like me. You know what I mean? I had no dreams. You know, what I mean? all my dream got murdered. You know what I'm mean? saying? It was like, you no, know, I was looking at everybody. I'm like, huh, nigga, you were just my height last year, my nigga. Like I was yeah. tall. That's how it happened. You know what I mean? Like, then nigga be all over the, the voice done got deep and shit. I'm like, damn, what's wrong with her? Like, <laughs> I'm at my dad. I'm like, when is it going to happen for me? Like, am I going to change or something like that? He was like, shit, you probably going to stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he kept it real because some yeah. people, parents would be like, no, nah, you going to have a growth spurt too. And yeah. Then you, you know. But see, but see, like, I always been in the gym, though. You know what I'm saying? My daddy, he, he was a power lifter, so I always been in the gym, like, messing with that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I... I always was cut or ripped up, and then you know when I went to boot camp. Why did you go to boot camp? Um, it, it's a it's a dude that that's around here. That's, that's one of my one of my 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 brothers, man. I mean, we went to school, man. We were selling weed in school. First he got caught in high school. Yeah, first he got caught, and then I got caught. But um, just so happened, the principal at that time, Mr. Bradshaw. You know what I'm saying? I was going to see the grow. And uh, Mr. Bradshaw, he say, uh, they brought me to the office, police and stuff, and they showed me the stuff. They were like, yeah, so that's your, we already know, you know. And it was like, but the thing, though, like, it's going to hurt your grandparents' feelings. They see, they you go to jail, man. It's crazy. I'm like, what you talking about? He said, yeah, I know your grandparents. He said, I went to, he was, I was in the army with your granddaddy, mm. and I taught school with your grandma. I was like, oh, my mama mama was a teacher. So I was like, dang, he was like, yeah. They call you scrapping it around here, don't they? I'm like, I'm like, you and your grandparents meant a lot to you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I was really like, nah, don't tell them about. <laughs> hey, you know, you, man, tell my mama. You know what I'm telling you, know, like, cause my mama knew to get down. Cause she would, you know, she would give me weed, but she said, don't sell it at school. You know mm. what I'm saying? She was like, and you was you know, selling it at school. Yeah, I, you know, just and then so he say, look, did what I do. He said I had an officer right there gone, but throw it away. But he said, you got to go to boot camp. He said, either one or the other. He said, we can, you can go to jail right now. And, of course, your grandma don't going to find out. Everybody, you know. And he said, look, you should go to boot camp. Like, you can get your school work, brother. Like, brother, like, you got a 0, 0.0 grade average. Like, what the fuck is that? Damn. Like, he said, that means <laughs> you. No, that was possible. That nigga said, it mean, it's like, you, you, I mean, they say you be here. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was about like, to ask you, do you not go to class? What? I just, regular school when interesting to me the way they taught me like the, the lady told me straight up like like you ain't gonna never be nothing you know what i'm saying and i was like how is that possible like i'm gonna be the biggest star in the world like how is that possible she was like i don't care what you're saying you're never gonna be nothing you you don't even know how to do this stuff like you yeah. i was like <laughs> that's what your teacher told you yeah i was just like that. I, was just, I just got up and i was like well i don't need to be here then you feel me <laughs> And I just walked about this bit, you know. Where did the name Scrappy come from? Who gave you that? Uh, the hood back in the day was long, long time ago. I was just fighting all the time, and then not because I wanted to fight, cause like I just did not want to fight. Like they always just like I was small, they always just want to fight me. Cause I'm like we play football, I run a little too fast, I juggle something, and then everybody laughing at them. Then they want to fight me, you know what I'm saying? Like I make a shot at the basketball. <laughs> Everybody laugh, nigga won't fight me. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and every time the old man used to be right there, he be like, boy, that boy don't get enough of fighting, but he always fighting. A little scrap. Scrap always fighting. And I used to hear him say that all the time. He be like, scrap it. And I just used to start looking at him like, he talking to me. Like, he talking about me. <laughs> and so I just I just kept it with me. I had a question, though, um, when you were explaining about your uh, grandparents versus your mother. Your grandmother was a teacher, yeah. and what, what did your grandfather do? My granddad, he was in the Army for years, like, so he retired in, from the Army. Uh, he started doing National Guard. Um, uh, he was actually in the, uh, what's that war uh, when I was little? Vietnam? No, no, I ain't that old. I was about to say Vietnam. I, mean, I, I wasn't here. <laughs> I wasn't even thought of it. Yeah, I wasn't even thought of it. Naming wars. Hey, Desert Storm. Um, Desert Storm. Desert Storm. Okay, Desert Storm. Okay, Desert Storm. He was, he was, was in that. that. That was his <laughs> last. <laughs> <Vietnam>. <laughs> that was his last little get down, you know what I mean? So it seemed like they made like an honest living, um, mm -hmm. your grandparents. What do you think made your mom like turn to the streets to get money and stuff? Uh, my stepdad. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like my mama just she um she won she not the type to you know she ask and once she feel like you know what I'm saying it's a problem with her asking for help then she gonna go do what she got to do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying especially take her kid I don't think if if we was if we me and my sister weren't here I don't think she would have did it you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying but uh, she was just doing what she had to do you know what I'm saying I always say like my mama. She like a real man, cause she'll do shit that a man ain't gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Like not for their kids. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So your mama has always been like this. Yeah. Like this ain't TV. No, nah, my mama is actually worse than TV. Oh, <laughs> in real yeah, life. In real oh. life, yeah. Like she, yeah. Baller alert. Hey, you are now tuned in to the Ball Alert Show with your boy Bitch Scrap. Going back, what was the influence that led you to rap? Man, my, my fathers, man, Tupac, Biggie, um, Jay-Z, Outkast, you know what I'm saying? Goody Mob, like, just that soundtrack, you know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, that soundtrack was hella influenceable. Like, I mean, I really was listening to that music, man. It changed my life. It got me through them hard times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ja Rule at one point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would listen to Cud. That shit, it was hard, you know what I'm saying? And, um... What's the shine? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was engulfed in this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And just seeing the stuff that it did for people, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted that. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm, 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 I'm going to get that. You know now, when I mean? did you start playing around with rap? Um, was this in high school? Nah, nah, nah. 0.0? Nah. Zero? nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you telling me? Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, nah, it was it was way before that. It was middle so, school. Oh, was so middle before school. that. Yeah, so you rapping school. already in high school then? Yeah, it was middle school. Yeah, okay. rapping in high school was, I was dancing for real. I was like a dancer. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I used to be in the hallway dancing. Everybody be turned up on a Friday. <laughs> Somebody on the locker. I cranked that whole bitch up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you was offset before offset. How you oh, be doing yeah, Oh, moves? yeah, yeah. I was... Uh, nah, I was way more like Chris Brownish. Oh, you oh, was really yeah. and pop locking. Yeah, I was. I was lit. Nah, I was. I mean, you can ask. Nah, the I don't city. be seeing you dancing nah, in the club. Can, you can ask the city though. You can ask people that really, really know me. You know what I'm saying? The blonde hair looks scrappy. You know what I'm saying? What? Like, you went Cisco? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mama made me do it. Uh, <laughs> for real? I swear to God. So, what, so does this correlate with your mom? Did your mom? Did you tell your mom that I want to rap? I want to be a yeah, rapper. Yeah, and she yeah. kind of just said, "All right, I got you." Well, I showed her that I was serious. I was with—I um, don't know if y'all remember the group SWAT team uh, back in the day. The We Hate Pastor Troy. Yeah, uh, we. Hey, we, so I was running. I was running around with them. Um, Where you meet them at? Uh, school, see the oh. girl. Everybody was at see the girl. Um, and you know, I, I just—I don't know how I latched on to that that shit, man. That shit was just. It was that crunk era, man. It was just, I don't know why the men hated Pastor Troy like that, you know what I mean? But it, it was fun. It was fun. And I and I would, they would never let me go on stage with them, though. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, y'all stay over here. And I'm like, shit, y'all be coming to get me when we fighting and shit. Like, well, I won't get on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I wanted that, that, that presence that they had on stage. I felt like, you know, I, I supposed to have that. I supposed to be somebody like that you know what i'm saying and i just kept doing it i just kept rapping rapping i had the first song i made was just like that shit bad that shit was horrible <laughs> you know Do you what remember that? it yeah it was like get them scrappy get them you know what i'm saying and <laughs> it was real corny <laughs> like, i don't it, think anybody liked their first song it, it, it was like not where i come from at all you know what i'm saying you'll be mm-hmm. like bro you you from the hood bro because like, <laughs> i because I, I really i never like the the way i was raised i never wanted to like acknowledge that shit you know what i'm saying i never wanted to um run with that shit and let that shit be my story you know what i'm saying i, I always wanted a fake story like mm-hmm. i didn't grow up hard I, I didn't grow up in the ghetto i wanted to be like suburban yeah you know what i'm saying i was like my story when i came i was like shit i, I just got a boot camp man i just i just uh graduated and everything i got my gd and high school diploma i got and i got a whole scholarship i was on that shit you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying until i seen that you know being honest and you know just let people know your story is like the realest shit in the world. Cause somebody else out there may need that, like a little kid or something. That, cause I, I mean, it was no future for me. You know, I did not see none of this shit. I, I believed in myself. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the work in, but I ain't think this shit was gonna ever happen. Did you graduate? 
Yeah. Okay. What you I think went, was going to happen? Boot, boot, boot camp was. So you got your GED. Yeah, I got my GED. I got a high school diploma. Because after you get your GED, they start putting up other stuff. You can get this right here. If you <laughs> and I mean, you you sit down there for six for half a year. So you're like, okay. like shit, I got to do something. You know what I'm saying? So I want to, you know, I want to make my mama happy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want to come home. You know what I'm saying? Like, look what I did, mom. Change man, you know what yeah. I'm saying? What and, was um, boot camp like? Was it like a, <coughs> a um, <coughs> like a, um, what do you call it? Like a basic training? Like, did you have to stay in a facility? Yeah, yeah, Like, um, it was hard when I first was down there. Like, I go down there every now and then to look at the kid, talk to the kid, but it, they, they, they spoil down there. Now, when I went down there, either, it's either that or jail. Is it like in the middle of Georgia? Yeah, it's in, it was in Augusta. Oh, wow. Right outside of Augusta, hmm. the, the military base, Fort Gordon. That was it was. So what time did y'all did y'all have to like wake up early? And... Four o'clock in the morning. Woo. Yeah, and you, you know they make you go to sleep at six thirty, seven o'clock, unless unless you know knucklehead. You know we end up fighting and mm-hmm. doing all that shit. But that it changes like, you though. Oh yeah, no, nah, it was like jail. It's like it was like jail, like. Basically, you know what I mean? I thought I was doing something. Like I had blood hair, so I said, I'm going to cut my own hair so they can't got down fuck with my shit. Then I get down there, he said, nah, nah, he got to shape up. I don't like that. Let me cut his hair. Oh. <laughs> Sit down. You I had was a like, ball? He gave you a ball? They gave you a murder almost. one. Almost. almost. You had the almost. low, low, low. And then, you know, I had the blonde <laughs> patches and shit all over there. <laughs> this sound like Major Payne. <laughs> that's that's yeah. what I'm imagining, Look too, cut. Major nah, Payne. No, nah, no, nah. That shit, I'm talking about, like, the way they woke us up. Because, like, that night, man, you heard all the bitch-ass motherfuckers crying and shit. They was crying in <laughs> Motherfucker, they ain't never been away from their parents. I ain't never had been away, neither. So, But I'm like, I, like, I don't even want to be... He ain't finna be like I that. I ain't about to be yeah, crying. Yeah. I ain't be crying. Like, I'm finna, I just say I'm going to make the best of the situation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, it was day one. I ain't want to, I just didn't want to think about it. I'm like, I got a long time. This is like a story. All that happened in six months. Like, when I came home, bro, I was like, I was a whole nother person, I was asking, bro. How did you feel when you came home? I was a whole nother person. Were you person. more, con- like, focused on, like, success? I was, I was rocked up. I was rocked up. Old girlfriend was on the nigga and shit. I said, "Boy, nigga, I'm finna, I'm finna do my dream. I'm finna do my dream. I'm finna start that shit. Finna start and rapping. I start that shit. That when I made head bust. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's oh. when you made head bust. Mm-hmm. So when I came up, so the that inspiration was the fight. Was all them fights and all nah, that shit. Nah, the inspiration oh. was the inspiration. <laughs> I just learned how to fight better and uh, and I got bigger as a as a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was lifting weights. You know, we doing push ups early in the morning. We do and the way we did workouts. It was like. Not the regular shit that niggas do every day, like count regular one, two, three, like four. Like guerrilla warfare. It was warfare. like, like mm-hmm. when we do push up, we do one, two, three. That's one, one, two, three, two, and we'll do like a hundred of them bitches. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So you doing like two hundred push ups? Don't even know it. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Every day. You know what I'm saying? Sit up, same way. Running. We had us running. I, I used to run like 12 miles a day. You know what I'm saying? So So you got here, Busta. Take us on the journey of that session. Like, how did you end up at the studio with the beat? So so the inspiration for Head Busta, when I came when I came back from boot camp, all my homies and shit, like I say, the Swatch and everybody, they was um, LT Drama, um, DJ Threat. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a lot of us, man. Uh, Pooh Baby. All my guys, man, you know what I'm saying? We uh, we was, like, just doing shows and stuff, doing, like, uh, talent shows and stuff. Like local shows? Yeah, and then, but when we hit the club, though, I would notice that when I'm with, I'm the little guy, but I be with all my cousins, all everybody, we some head bosses. We some head bosses. And they would just run, we would just be running through the club, every club, the Megaplex, wherever, just running through the club. Uh, uh, what was the other one? Um, MBK, all that shit. We were running through the club screaming, we some head busters. And if anybody get mad because they got bold in the face or their shoe got stepped on, we fighting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, But we would be lit like that. And it was like some a real chant that everybody knew in the club. And, I, and like God put that on my heart. He was like, make the song. But where did Lil John come? Because I know Lil John started Lil John, as a DJ. L- yeah, Lil John came in after he already had um, he had just Bia. put out um, Be a beer. Uh, uh-uh, he had just put out. Um, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay, okay, okay. That that had just came out with Crazy Bone the Mystical. I remember that. So um, he was he was on that note. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. kind of the same cadence that We Some Head Bus. It yeah. kind of sounded like his, his yeah. Uh, style. Yeah, but I was really, I wasn't really a crunk rapper at the time. I, w- I would get, I mean, that was just how shit we get crunk in the club. That's just, you know, natural yeah. Atlanta shit. But I remember doing that song, and that's the song that caught everybody's attention. And because they, they would see us go around to all the clubs doing that shit, as soon as I performed that bitch, the whole crowd knew it. Everybody was in that bitch. Even niggas I was with were like, damn, bro, like, damn, nigga made that shit, shit hard, bro, like, you know what I mean? So it went from that to I, was, I linked up with Trivia because L.A. and Trivia used to be a promoter. You know what I'm saying? He was with the Neighborhood Superstars and him and um, my homie um, now, um, Smurf. Smurf World. Smurf, Smurf World. World. Smurf World in LA. They was they was promoting and stuff like that and neighborhood superstars. They would put me on the stage and um um yeah, Lil O and uh Rest in Peace Wallow, uh Big Wallow and yeah, then Big and, Wallow. And then yeah. it was um Shenard and Moet Moet, Mr. Long Two Lil Weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Long Live Shenard. Mr. Two Weeks, that was Shenard and Moet. They was like together promoting, they would put me on the stage and they put me on that one stage. That one stage that uh, Vince Phillips came to, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, one time for Vince. Yeah, one time for Vince and Orlando McGee. But I was in there. I, I would shut the show down at the aquarium on the east side, Moya Drive. Okay. And, like, Trillville would uh, open up, like, kind of, like, go right on before me. So Trillville already had got that bitch lit off Never Ever because it was, it was newer than Hair Bustle. Did you write that? I wrote my verse. Okay, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's okay. it. John put me on, on Never Ever. It was just okay. Trillville at first. Never, uh, John wanted me on there because he said I was, you know, scrappy and I had a hard verse. He was like, I like it. So I'm on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, they would do Never Ever. When I came out and did Head Bustle, that motherfucker erupted. Like the whole club was fighting. Like it was not the one person that wasn't fighting. I even got to fighting after. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Like, I'm sitting there rapping that shit. And I didn't when I used to have a grill of gold in my mouth. And I got that mug and man, I just seen that motherfucker get hit with a pool stick. Wow. I was like, oh <laughs> Damn. shit. Then bottle come crawl. Wow. Then the nigga right there go, wow, wow. And he just started fighting, fighting in front of me, fighting behind me. I was like, oh shit. I jumped off the stage because this shit was just going. It was just like, I'm talking about them motherfuckers were telling the nigga, turn that shit off. Turn it off. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm talking about it, it was, always started fights. Your yeah. music always started fight fights. Yeah, I was Man. just going to say that too. I think that the whole crunk era was fight time. Yeah, that motherfucker shut that bitch down. Like, I'm talking about it wasn't no more music. All you heard was scuffling all over that bitch. Scuffling. Yeah, security always used to get mad when you played when they played your record. Man, yeah, listen, that nigga Vince record. came out there with his towel done. He was like, hey, man. Come to the office Monday, man. Like, we need to get you signed, man. You need to be on BME. And I was just like, mm. wow. I was like, for real? I was like, shit, all right. You know what I mean? But when I got there, I was like, man, I'm finna be signed with Lil John, cuz. Like, this shit finna be crazy. But um, that was that was how I got with John. How did it change your life once you signed? It didn't. It didn't change my life. I just, I, I, I looked at it, and my perspective was, it was different. It was like the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't get no money or nothing like that up front or nothing like that. It was just the opportunity that I could stand next to John. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Being that you didn't get any money, did you own your masters and your publishing? I, I had I signed a bad deal. <laughs> when and I didn't first, get no money. I yeah. think everybody signed bad yeah, deal. They first the contract. Bad. First contract always your bad is a bad yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I don't usually. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't even want to say it was a bad deal. It was just. It was a bad deal. <laughs> you wasn't thinking like, man, where my signing bonus? Where my advance? Nah, I was looking at the opportunity. When did you mm-hmm. realize that maybe it wasn't favorable? Did you realize that down the line, or did you know that up front? I realized that down the line, okay. but I, but with me, I never cared. I never really cared. I never uh, took that and been like, oh my god, they fucked me over. And I, I just be like, shit. I was a young nigga. I ain't really feel like you know reading, going to pay for a lawyer, all that shit. And that's what it got me. You know and what you, I'm saying? And you had to you got the opportunity that you was looking for. Yeah, but 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 God just blessed me. Like I had good lawyers, I had good managers. I was with Chris Lighting, uh, mm-hmm. Violator and Mona at the time. So they, they was able to get me uh my publishing back. I was able oh. to get um, you know, a lot of stuff back that they had took, you know what I'm saying? And um it just it's God, man. God he definitely saved it my is life. A blessing, though. Yeah. 
So how was it? How, how did it feel when you get your first check? Like, at what time period did you get your first, you know, big check from? Rapping? Um, it, it was it was a Warner Brothers check. Uh, it's when we did the deal with Warner Brothers, um, and and um, they called it Wea Warner Electric and Atlantic. Um, I did that deal. That's when they. That's when we uh, put out No Problem and Never Ever and all the other stuff. And um, that's the first check I got. It was like. I want to say fifty thousand, something like that. I gave something to my mama, something to my manager, and I kept the rest. So, when did you become a dad? Uh, I think when I was twenty-one. And yeah. this is when? What time in your life? This is after no problem here, but it's after Scrappy don't went all the way up. I that's why I kind of figured that we kind of at that stop. Because you went yeah. up at a very young age. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, where did you meet Erica? Uh, I met Eric in the club doing this shit. Like I was, I was doing hair bustle. Like yeah. What uh, attracted her to you? Or are well, you attract- I always, I always used to see her around and stuff. Like I used to be like, I could see her, but I would be scared to talk to her. Like I'd be like, man, be a fine pop. Like, <laughs> 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 like, fine. And I'm talking about everybody was on her too. Like everybody was on her head, and I was like, dang. So when I did try to talk to her, we were just so cool. Uh, we were just so cool. We just used to hang out. Just like how they be seeing us hang out now. We were just mm-hmm. doing that. We were just hanging out and uh, just having fun. And like one day she just came and she was like, shoot. Like if like if, if we going to do it, we got to do it. I'm like, do what? You know what I'm mean? saying? She was like, you know what I'm mean? saying? You, you want to be with me, you got to be with me, you got to be for real. I'm like, hell yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm talking about you going to be mine? Like, like. Hell, hell yeah, yeah, boy! Like I was excited like a motherfucker. Is this, after, <laughs> is this after a few dates or like? No, it was a long time. It was just like a year or something like that. Like, oh wow, it was a long time. Yeah, it felt felt like years. So, know? what was y'all first date? Oh man, dang! I think we went to the movies or something. Her daddy didn't like me neither. So, uh, she, did you ever win him over? Oh yeah, now like okay. nowadays, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you at first, he was like, "Why you bring this rapper? I used to pull up with my shirt off and stuff." Like, like, man, put your shirt on, man. I'm like, I came in for my lady, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was about one time he got out of the car, he had a big ass strap. He was walking in the house. I'm like, man, you know you ain't got to walk in the house with a gun out like that. Man, ain't I mean, you, you were a little door. scrappy. I was about to say, no <laughs> problems here, <laughs> Buster. Yeah, wild young guy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like I was, I would take care of Erica though. That was that was my baby though. Yeah. yeah. So when you guys had Imani, how did that change you guys' life? Oh man, you know, Imani is my baby, man. You know what I'm saying? Or when now, you found out she was pregnant, what was your first? Oh, I was concert? happy. I was excited. Yeah, I was excited. I was in Miami too. Uh, she called me. She was like, "Nigga, I'm pregnant." <laughs> I said, "What? <laughs> Hell yeah! What's up?" Yeah, I, I was happy. I couldn't. I couldn't wait. You know what I'm saying? It. Uh, I, I I feel like you know. With our situation, um, we were just we were just super young, man. And then she had a baby, and her and my mama didn't get along, and that shit was just hell for me. I was like, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> but I can tell that you and her have a good friendship. Yeah, yeah, cause I like I said, we were cool before we even Got did together. anything, before we even had a baby, anything. Like we were cool, and then. She would be one of the ones on stage with me, like selling my CDs and. Oh, dope. Um, uh, she up there with me, like, hey, but it just be me and her. That she so like why, why, why didn't it, why didn't it work out? Cause Mr. we were Scrappy. too young, man. It was, it was, it was a lot of stuff that had happened, and we did not know about mental health issues. Mm-hmm. We did not know that. Thank you for saying that. You know, we did not know that everybody had mama issues and, um, um. What you call it when somebody leave you? Uh, abandonment, abandonment, abandonment mm-hmm. issues and stuff like that. So it's a lot that came with it. And then you know we had the baby and then y'all just, broke up. Yeah, it was just crazy. Then you got married. Yeah, and got yeah. and had three more. Was it three? Is it three? No, no, no. I got one with her, but I got three more. Three. Yeah, three more babies. Yeah. Baller alert! Hey, you are now tuned in to the Baller Alert Show with your boy Bitch Scrap. What 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 is what is the situation shit with your with your ex wife? I don't have an ex wife. You still married? married? No no no, I never was married. The, the the when I get married, when I do get married, that's gonna be the first time I get married. 
That's the first time you're going to acknowledge that you get married. Yeah. You reborn again. You were uh, born again yeah. uh, uh, single guy. Because because that 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 right what I did, went through that that was horrible. Like I never I don't wish that on my Ooh. worst enemy. How did that impact you? Yeah. I just I, like I said I don't wish I don't wish that on my worst enemy. You like for your saying? mental health, and I know you it, always talk about narcissism. Yeah. Um. I had got diagnosed with narcissistic abuse like i was i was like what like what does that mean you know what i'm saying like meaning you have that or somebody you received that i received that oh, okay. you know what i'm saying i received um i was with a person that was very narcissistic and just was too much into their self to even pour back into my cup you know what i'm saying so it was a lot poured but none poured back in you know what i'm saying and I ain't, I ain't one of the ones, man. Like, I, I fought for where I'm at now. The peace I got now, I wish I would have always had this. I never was alone. And I'm not telling, I'm not saying, like, the person was um, the worst person in the world. You know what I'm saying? And it was all the, the person's fault because I had, like, a ton of shit, you know, a ton of fault. The reason why we're not together anymore. But it's like, at the same time, I caught, I caught on to what was going on. You know what I'm saying, and the peace I have right now, I pray, I pray that everybody get that peace. You know what I'm saying, in in the marriage or out of marriage, I pray that people get this peace that I peace. got right now because I was in pieces, but now I'm at peace. You feel me? And this is it's, that, that's I've never felt this in my life. You, you happy? Me? I I had never felt this in my life, bro. Like. This level of, of level, level yeah, this level this clarity? of clarity, yeah, yeah you... clarity. Like I never been in the house by myself and just got to know me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I never got a chance to know who I was. I I can't ask God to give me somebody to love me if I don't even love myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to start loving myself. You know what I'm saying? And when the when the person see that you don't know yourself, they can they can go in your mind and run a run a muck in it. You know what I'm saying? They can run a muck in it. To the point where I ain't even want to rap no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do nothing. I just, I used to just be at the house. I was a good daddy, though. I stayed in the house being a good daddy, being a good husband that I thought I could be. And, you know, if you with somebody that's a narcissistic person, none of that would never be good enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I done been in there with my babies all day. And then next thing you know, people coming in like, I got to help her, I got to help her. I'm like, well, what the fuck I been doing all day? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck I been doing? Like, you call these people for, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. What did she want you to do? It was like two, three different lists. Like, from the beginning to the end, it was like the list kept changing. Every time I conquer this, the list go up. It's the most shit. And you can't help, you can't love on me until I do this, or this, 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 and this, this, this. And I'm like, cuz, this is horrible. Like, what kind of shit is this? Like, that's why I say I want marriage. Marriage, uh, even when you, um, when you get a divorce, a uh, ex-wife or ex-husband, they would want their kids to be happy. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't want to cause friction with the other side of the family and kids and the kids. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff be going on, man. And that's why I just, I take myself out of it. Only thing I do is deal with my kids. That's it. I don't, I don't deal with the mama. I deal strictly with my kids. Judge already wrote up what we got to do. I don't, there's no reason to talk. There's no, you know, no reason to argue. As long as we follow these guidelines right here and I do what I'm supposed to do as a daddy, we don't have to talk. Do you think eventually that things will get better? Now? I think it's better. I think I think that. So you like you're you're comfortable with how it is. I'm very comfortable with how it is. I don't have to see her. I don't have to be around her. I don't have to none of that. I can just be with my kids, and that's like the that's peaceful, man. Like that's peaceful to me. You know what I'm saying? Waking up with my babies, cooking for them, taking them to school. You know what I'm saying? Doing homework. Going out for for vacation, going to staycations, going to play wherever they want to go play. My kids got all the toys in the world. Like I love it. Okay, so what's up with my guy Chaotic Man? <laughs> That's my brother. Why is he? When did he insert? Did he? <laughs> <laughs> he he has an obsession with me. You and Erica. Yeah, he has an obsession with me and Erica. <laughs> I'm, That's what I feel. I feel like everybody having an obs obsession with me and Erica. And we're not even together. Like we just hang out. And everybody just go crazy. Like I think people like how happy you guys look together. I mean, we. I look. There's happy. A, there, there is an affinity with uh, with you two, though. 
that you guys do look but good. But I look I look good by myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but you be looking real happy, look, happy look, in those in those in those. But movies. I will say the first since the first time you came on our show, you look better than when than Thank you, you were. So so you see I heard because I wasn't here, I heard you looked a little stressed out. Man, you, so, you were stressed you out because so you seen. So you see the difference. Mm-hmm. Thank God. I wasn't here. But wait. I'm glad. I'm glad God allowed y'all to see the difference because I just talked that what I was just talking about. Like my auntie seen me and she was like, yo, like you need help. <laughs> so Erica is single, right? Yeah. So you not, y'all I mean, not going to spend so the block? I'm single. I just want to. Well, I you mean, said spend the block. Yeah, I mean, I, just, listen, they, I only, I only been up out of this divorce since June, since the first day of June so you just gonna allow some time to just I just I, it just feel good right now okay. it's like it's like a, it's a I'm, I'm in my selfish bag right now okay. like no, and I that's just wanna, fine you trying to find your peace that's yeah I just, I, just, I, just I, 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 I like I like I like that's why everybody be getting mad at me cause I do my wake up videos you know what I'm saying <laughs> like for real no man. but another one a uh, person that's single who just seemed like they just came out of left field is Diamond oh yeah oh shit yeah how did, how did that happen and why she keep posting these texts with you or her I don't know man I, I just think <laughs> Yo, I just think it's sad, man, that we couldn't be cool, man. I just think it's sad. Man. But I thought y'all was dating. You didn't make her think another thing. You know, I probably did. You mm. know, through going through my little pain. But my auntie, my mama, everybody was telling her like, leave that boy alone. He going through something. Like he just, you know what I'm saying? He just got a divorce. He ain't been divorced that long. Let him, let him breathe a little. You know what I'm saying? And. Uh, I don't know. I think she wanted something to happen faster, and I'm 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 gonna move on my own note because I just got out of a motherfucker trying to tell me what to do twenty four seven. You still trying mama. to heal? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, yeah. and I don't want to cause no pain to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I you know just you know a hurt man. I hurt a lot of shit. Why he hurt? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He he'll fuck some shit up. So I just want to like not keep doing the same thing but not only with the Erica I think <clears throat> you have a lot of fans invested in you and Diamond's relationship too because it was always speculated and then people speculated up into the BET awards and mm. then you know like y'all got together and like you said she may have wanted it to go that way but mm. you were just like I, I'm stagnant mm. you know what I'm saying because you know of our, of me and her past and how it ended it wasn't on me you feel what I'm saying I didn't do nothing to nobody but it's like, you know, it's a, I got trust issues right now, mm. you know, and I think that um, the more I trust myself, the more I can grow into myself and trust myself, I'll probably be able to trust somebody else one day. Why did it end with y'all? Back in the day? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, it's, go online. You can Google it. You know what I'm saying? Did she, did she, real quick. Quick. she cheated on you. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't said you said it. <laughs> I mean, but that's is what that, everybody do you was think saying? that's why you will never, like, Go there with her? Uh, it was some other stuff that, that, it was stuff that a person, like, the stuff that, that she just did, the posting the picture and the, the text message, that's, like, not something I trust. You know, that's not something that make me feel like I can trust somebody. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's almost like baby mama number two. It's like you... They want people to look at me a certain kind of way. They want people to look at me in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? Because they see people look at me in a good way, positive way. And they want people to look at me very fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I, I leave that to God. And I just be like, that's crazy because I ain't do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? I still ain't did nothing to you. And the more you keep trying to, I guess, expose me, um, it's just going to make me not trust you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make me go all the way in the corner somewhere and just be like, when I walk, when I see you, I just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't, you, can't be, you can't be mad at somebody for having feelings and reacting to it. But at the same time, the way you do it, it's going to it's gonna have an outcome on how I feel about you and how I treat the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I think that yeah, that it, it seems like Diamond thinks that you guys are in a relationship based on her reaction after seeing, you know, you in the blogs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, me and me and Erica, and I'm like, why I can't be with my baby mama and just take my daughter to school down to college? Why I can't go get in the jacuzzi with my baby mama? There is nobody telling me what to do. There is nobody. You're single. Yeah, I'm single. There is nobody in. There. I don't think she. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, but you can go look at you can go look at her pictures. Like she's all in a nigga car in another nigga car. I don't got no Rolls Royce. 
You feel what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she could be doing that to make, try to make you jealous. But that ain't, I mean, you think you gonna be, I'm gonna be fucking with you, you and another nigga call? I'm not finna fuck with you. Like, I'm cool. Like, like take you serious. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm cool. I, was just, I just seen you and another nigga call. I mean, hey, how you doing? We cool. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. But you, you can't take her to the BET Awards and say that y'all just cool. I think a lot of men take women to the BET Awards, and I think they're cool. You feel me? I, I probably, like I said, I probably did uh, mistakenly lead her on, you know what I'm saying? Because I was in a bad place, you know what I'm saying? I was, um, I did need somebody. She was there for me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't drove the girl car and everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't gave me more conversation uh, than I really needed, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate her that. But when it come to, you know, favorite people, you gotta just let God deal with them. You 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 start trying to fight them yourself, then you get the bad end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if people notice that I'm a highly favored person, very favored by God, and it ain't gonna go right. Like, you single and you friends with your baby mama. And I'm and always and I'm number a, one, baby mama. Baby mama number one, one is always gonna be in my life. Mm-hmm. We always gonna be friends, no matter who come in, who go. You feel what I'm saying? She's always gonna be there. I mean. I mean, you know, she done already told everybody, like, go go hit him. Hit his DM up. You know what I'm saying? He's single. Woo, woo. They don't be listening. Like, they just want me to be with her. <laughs> yeah, and then you know they had a field day when y'all did that play date at your house. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it all. I'm going to do everything I want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what life's about, doing what you want to do, what you think, as long as you ain't really... I ain't putting my, my kids in no danger. You know what I'm saying? So Did baby mama number two hit you about that? I, th- I think she did. I, if I don't remember. I'm pretty remember. sure she was mad. I don't. I, I'm, shit, I don't see why not. Shit, all the kids playing. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't like uh, Erica holding a baby or something like that, doing all that. Yeah, we ain't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? But you know how I look at it, man. I don't be worried about what's going on in her in her house with my kids. I I feel that she'll protect my kids. I pray to God protect them and I keep that faith on it and I go on about my business. I don't call her asking her what's going on and all that little shit because I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, I got something to do with my house. And you're you know not mean? concerned with if she get with anybody or anything? Like she done told people, she whipped somebody. So like the day, like I told her, the day you put them around my babies, you know what I'm saying, I like to meet them and that's the only time I'm going to say something to them just to see, you know, who around my babies. Other than that, you feel comfortable with him being around your kids, then good. You know, them your kids too. Yeah. That's and that's the only time you'll be around mature. her at this point. I, I just don't, I don't, it's, it, they, they babies, man. I ain't, got, I ain't got time to be petty and be going through this shit my whole life or they whole life. Like, Because nah, you already I, been through it, right? Yeah, yeah, I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? I got to be able to take care of them and not be running behind their mama, seeing who they mama with and what she doing and all that. I ain't got time for that shit. Mm. I don't give a fuck. Well, and you also doing music again? Yeah, yeah. That's What's my up life. with that? Yeah, let's talk got, about that, please. I got my, um, you know, my label is TCE, the Committee Entertainment. I got uh, D the Problem, Swift the Player. You know what I'm saying? They, we got a new single from the drop called Going Up. Shit is hard out of here. And I got a single with Spice that's coming out in the springtime called Pull Up on Me. Shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spice went. Bananas. Any like, touring coming spice. up too, or uh, in the summertime, okay. we we got a uh, uh, me, John, Crime Mob, Trillville, and some more people. We're gonna go. All right, now you're going back All on right that yeah. Crime Mob. What? <laughs> now I was about to say, <laughs> now, how, I mean, now, how I mean, this gonna work? That, that's that's. I mean, I'm I'm the reason y'all know Crime Mob. Like, Fact. You know I mean, what okay. I'm like, yeah, how did you discover Crime Mob? They went some. Quick? They they was in the area. They was at uh, Cedar Grove and Chapel Hill. So I was able to snatch snatch the ones that was at Cedar Grove and bring them around the the person who I was doing the deal with, and then we signed yeah. us. Yeah. Just real quick, what made you? Um, did Diamond come on to you, or did you come on to her in that time? When? When y'all when, when you first got first together got in Crime Mob? Uh I think I think it was me. Yeah, I think it was me. Yeah, I know it was me for sure. <laughs> for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot how it happened, but Oh my happened. gosh. Well I hope y'all can, you know, find some peace within yourselves on this tour. I'm peaceful. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I just feel like I just feel like the Cordial blogs piece. are going to be brewing around this. No, yeah, y'all going to be on do, tour I'm, together. I'm going to do. We was just on. That's why I'm divorced now because we was on tour together. 
<laughs> it was, the divorce was coming regardless because we were just. That uh, was like the nail in the coffin. Yeah, that was the nail in the coffin, and I'm glad it happened. Mm-hmm. Glad it happened. Thank Ooh. God. Jesus is good. Yeah, you seem like you're in good spirit now. I love it, man. We're so yeah. proud of you. You look good, too, because uh, before, you, you know, it looked like you done been in the gym. Oh, yeah, I stay in that gym every mm-hmm. day. <laughs> that, that's that what first got me. Mm. Yeah, I started working on my body, and then my body transformed my mind, and my mind transformed the spirit. It's, yeah. it's real deep, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, just to shout out the three movies that I'm I'm in this year, um, one on called I Hate I Love You. Um, it's gonna be out either the spring or summertime. Um, the other one, I forgot the other two names. Oh, I forgot the other two names. But you know, the the main one is uh, I hate I, I hate I love you, and that's, I played a big role in that. Y'all will be seeing that this year. Hopefully, I can get y'all to come to the red carpet. Let's premiere. go, man. You know? Let's set it up. Hey, let's set set that up. You that's always easy. show up for us, so yeah. we're gonna be there for you. Yeah, come pull up, man. For real. Yeah, before we get out of here, though, we do have a pep talk with Lil Scrappy. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy, Big Scrap. Just to give you some motivational, uh, some spiritual talk, man. Some elevation, man. Um, I just want to say, man, everybody keep your head up because you know these are crazy times. You know what I'm saying? Keep your faith in God or keep your faith in whatever you believe in. You know what I'm saying? I believe in God and he done got me this far. Um, with which each goal and dream that you want to conquer comes sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you sacrificing the right things and not yourself and not your family. Make sure you loving everybody and you being a positive influence to people, even though it hurt. Think of, put your mind in the perspective of happiness and peace and love and where you want to go in life and let God lead you. You know what I'm saying? We know where we want to go, but God already got our footsteps ordered. So, man, tap into yourself, to your spirit, love yourself because ain't nobody going to love you like you love you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to hate you like you hate you. You know what I'm saying? So, tap in, dog. Love. 